Hey guys, and welcome back to another Mount Monday. Today we're going to be talking about Nalak. This guy drops the Thundering Cobalt Cloud Serpent, which looks like this. Pretty sweet mount in my opinion. I really like the red. I think it's red at least. I am colorblind, so maybe it's orange or something. But I really like the color. Um, it's pretty sweet looking mount, and it's a Cloud Serpent. I really like those. It just despawned, but I'm going to talk about how to get this. So first things first. Uh, to get here is kind of complicated, so let me just go through that real quick. I play only Horde, so I can tell you the Horde way to get here. Um, the Alliance way is going to be a little bit different, but very similar. Basically what you want to do is get yourself to the Mists of Pandaria area. So Pandaria, right? Um, the way I do this is I go to Orgrimmar, I take the portal to the Jade Forest, and then I take this uh, flight path all the way over to the Shadow Pan Garrison. Once you get here, you're going to want to walk down towards Rensai's watch post. Not very far. There's going to be a little camp right here, and there's going to be a dude there who has a quest. And the quest is going to be called The Storm Gathers. If you just want to uh if you want to know like his exact coordinates and everything, just type that into Google. The Storm Gathers is what it's called. When you get that quest, it'll take you to the Isle of Thunder. And that's how you get access to this place. And it'll put you on one of these boats out here. And then they'll open a portal that goes back to the Shadow Pan Garrison. And once you've unlocked the Isle of Thunder, you can get here by just going to Shadow Pan Garrison and clicking on that portal. So you have to do that quest first to unlock the Isle. But once it's unlocked, that's how you get back here. This is also helpful if you ever want to do the Throne of Thunder raid. There are some mounts in there as well. So that's how you get here. And then the other thing I'll mention is that this guy on this aisle you can't fly so you're going to spawn on one of these boats you're going to just have to jump in the water and come across to the land and then ride a ground mount from here all the way up to this icon which is where Nalak spawns uh, he does spawn up in the air so if you're playing a melee class you're going to need to throw something at him to bring him down um, but if you're playing a boomkin like me you just you know star surge him or something and he'll come down um, and then this guy as well can be bonus rolled, although the, the currency that you use is different from the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent and the Son of Galleon. So for this guy, you're going to want a bonus roll with a Mogu Rune of Fate. Um, I won't go into detail about how to get those. If you want to know that, uh, you can just uh, go to Wowhead and type in Mogu Rune of Fate, and you'll find out all about that currency and how to get it. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's what you're going to use to bonus roll this guy. You have two chances per character per week uh, if you bonus roll. So you can loot him once, and then uh, the bonus roll counts as your second chance. So you can only kill it one time, and if you don't bonus roll that one time, you just don't get a second chance. So on every character, you can do this guy one time per week, and you have a chance to, to bonus roll. I hope that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's that's this guy. He spawns between... 10 and 20 minutes so the longest you'll have to wait when you get here is 20 minutes but typically it'll be around 15 i would say and then yeah you just kill him and loot him and hopefully you get the sweet mount so that's gonna be it for this mount monday uh if you like the video make sure you click the like button if you really liked it feel free to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace